The world is made of Hebrew letters. The building blocks of creation are Hebrew letters. Much like a scientist would describe the physical makeup of this world as being atoms, molecules, elements. And of course they would be correct. But our tradition tells us virtually the same thing, but it's the letters that are the building blocks of creation. So in this sense, letters, the Hebrew letters, are considered archetypal energy forms that are taking God's infinite light and wisdom and putting them into channels of creative consciousness where we can have a grasp of godliness and what this world is about. For this reason, we're taught that God looked into the Torah and created the world. The Torah is the blueprint. And what is the blueprint made of? Letters and words. And this concept of the world being built from letters and words goes along with another teaching that teaches us that God creates through divine speech. In the account of creation, 10 times there are verses that express that God spoke and something came into being. The first one is, Vayomer Elohim Yehi Or, Vayyi Or. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. And our Kabbalistic tradition tells us that light is the three letters, Aleph, Vav, and Resh, that make up the word. From this we learn that the Hebrew letters and the words that they form are not just linguistic symbols of sounds which then a culture or society attaches meaning to, but they are the very essence of the word that they explain. And even more than this, not just essence, they are the animating force. So according to our tradition, the world is being recreated all of the time. It was not a one-time creation. And this creation is happening through an endless combination of Hebrew letters. And for this reason, Hebrew is called the holy language. Because every letter contains infinite meaning. The Baal Shem Tov revealed that each letter can be understood on the level of worlds, souls, and divinity. Meaning that each letter manifests in the level of the physical, practical world that we live in, in the level of souls and the meaning of the soul, and on the level of divinity, as it were, how God is looking and relating to the world. Further, we're taught that there are actually 13 different associations and levels to each letter. Rabbi Yitzhak Ginsburg's book, The Hebrew Letters, explains that the three primary ones are the form, the name, and the number. Each Hebrew letter is not a uh, coincidental shape, but that shape is pictorial. It tells a story. It represents an archetypal energy. The name of the letter also has tremendous meaning. In English, for example, A, B, C, D has no intrinsic meaning. It's just a sound that's attached to a visible letter. But in Hebrew, the names of the letter have great meaning. And finally, each Hebrew letter has a number. And numbers are very important, not just symbolically, but if we look in modern science, chemistry, biology, economics, they're all based on numbers, on mathematics. Music as well is actually mathematical. So that each letter has a number tells it that there's a mathematical code 
in, in all of creation, engraved and encoded throughout all the different levels of reality. In these teachings, we are going to be touching on different aspects of the world, souls, and divinity that's connected to each letter, and very importantly, to the form, the name, and the number of each letter. Truthfully, the letters are infinite archetypal forms, and it would, of course, take much learning. But we are going to present a kernel idea as a way to whet your appetite, to increase your interest, and to hope that you will follow up with more and more teachings about the letters. At the end of every letter, we have crafted a meditation in which to take this kernel idea and to meditate upon it in order to integrate this wisdom into your heart, in your soul, and your mind.